All right, the Trump White House is battling a major credibility issue. You got a Wall Street Journal editorial this morning, a publication not set up to bash Republicans, and it says this. The president clings to his assertion like a drunk to an empty gin bottle, rolling out his press spokesman to make more dubious claims. If Trump doesn't show more respect for the truth, most Americans may conclude he is a fake president. Where is that coming from and what will its impact be? Joining us now, Anthony Scaramucci. He was part of the Trump transition team, now an informal advisor to the president. Appreciate hey, you being on. Chris, pleasure it's good to, to be see here. you. Thanks so, for inviting I mean, me. the journal, you know, guys like that have uh, the journal right next to your hard boiled well, egg in the morning. Wasn't, okay, but your the journal wasn't tea. super excited about uh, candidate Trump. Uh, and so I hear what you're saying about the journal because they're typically conservative and Republican. Uh, but the president represents a new brand of Republicanism, and he's also representing uh, a disaffected class of people that elected him to the to the office. And so the Journal has always been more of a corporate uh, sponsor and less of a uh, what I would call a populist uh, sponsor. I'll be so, that as it may, so I, so they're I not banging you. his ideology. I don't like the Jin comment, though. He is the president. These guys should settle down a little bit. But go ahead. But let's talk about where it's coming from. Fear mm -hmm. criticism uh, of what they mm -hmm. say, but. This isn't about ideology. We don't like his populism. We think this policy is wrong. They're saying mm -hmm. he's BS about the truth mm -hmm. too often. Uh, and this is coming at him from a hundred different sources, mainly because it's true. He keeps saying things that are proven false at best and intentionally false oh, oh, too often. Oh, oh, okay. And I hear what you're saying. And sometimes that may be true. I mean, uh, the president doesn't have perfect information. Uh, but what I see about him, working with him very closely for nine or ten months and knowing him for 20 years, mm -hmm. he's got great instincts, Chris. And so uh, there is something there. We, you, you guys want to pretend that there isn't. That's okay. But there was a FISA warrant. You're talking about the wiretap. Yeah, that got accepted. Okay. I think it was in October, possibly. I don't know the exact dates. And I know you've had Mike McKenzie on the show, and he's also said the same thing that I'm saying. And the president has very, very good instincts. And so let's just let a little bit more time pass. Okay, I was on the show a couple of weeks ago. We had the comments about the JCC. I really wish that tweet didn't go out in hindsight. But it then was reflected that there were some people that had worked for the Bernie Sanders campaign that were making some of those calls. And so, so what, I'm, what I'm saying to you is let's let some time pass. Uh, um, I trust the president. I think the American people that supported him trust the president. And as he starts to roll out this agenda, his popularity is going to rise. Well, look, the credibility matters because people trust him, because mm -hmm. he has a base, because they put their hope in him. Yeah. I mean, you and I grew up with a lot of these people that voted for Trump. No and question. it's because they wanted better. The wiretapping thing is troubling because of exactly what you say. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he has imperfect information. Not on this one. He could have picked up the phone as president of the United States and proven it if he wanted to. But what he seemed have, he wanted, okay, Anthony, is that he wanted a distraction. Okay, but Chris, something could have happened at Trump Tower. Uh, we still don't have all the information. I think Tucker interviewed him at Fox News last week, and he said, let's give it some more time to let the information come out. But he doesn't now, need now, the time. He could get the information with a phone call. He wants the time okay. because it belabors okay. everything else okay. they okay. should be looking at. That's, that's your point of view. That's not my point. What else could okay. be true at this point? You had the director think, of the think, FBI and the NSA say of, there's nothing there. I think he's got a lot on his plate, right? He's cooking on five or six different uh, stovetops right now. He's got to get the health care passed. Right. He's working on the uh, tax legislation. Sure. He's rolling back these regulations that we right. all need to get rolled back so that we can get the economy growing right. again. So, so let's give him a little bit of time. Well, the, but the and next I, part of that statement yeah. should be, uh, so I don't know why he keeps creating these bogus scenarios that distract from his own agenda. Okay, see, he you're, did this, Anthony. You're, you're, you're calling him bogus, but you see, you have the to... The wiretapping thing's bogus, okay, Anthony. You, it's bogus. You, it's well, bogus. Let's let a little and he bit. wasn't talking okay. about Flynn. We both know last he time, wasn't talking about Flynn. I was on the show. You guys said, well, you're making allegations that may not be true. I said, I wasn't making an allegation. I was at an open question about what was going on with the, these Jewish community centers. Then we discovered that there was a person. But this is very different. No, this, no, look, but it's really is, not. Chris. Let, me, let me explain to you why it's not different. Please. Okay, let me explain to you why it's not different. Uh, for the, he's 21 or 22 months as a politician. He's used several devices uh, to come over the top of the mainstream media to deliver information to his base. He said a few weeks ago that he would not have been president, in his opinion, had he not had those devices. His instincts have been very good. Sometimes he gets some, some stuff wrong. I think you've gotten some stuff wrong. I know I've certainly gotten some stuff wrong. As it relates to this situation, I think what he said is, let's let more time pass and let's see 
what actually I know, but happened. it doesn't hold up but to you, scrutiny. But let me just finish. If I you, ever you, got you, anything wrong, Chris, anywhere close to what he gets wrong on a regular Chris, basis, I, I would be picking up garbage somewhere. Yeah, yeah it sounds, like sounds like you didn't vote for him. Okay, but that's fine. But let me just say You don't know who I voted no, for. No, I, no, don't I make said, it personal. No, make I said, your point. I said it sounds like you didn't vote for him. Make your point. I actually happen to vote for him, and I support the guy. But let me just say this to you, okay? Let's let uh, some time pass, okay? He's going to get the health care uh, thing passed. Thursday, I predict that there will be a vote. He'll get it passed. The Republicans have to come together around the president. They may not like everything about the health care bill, but they know they need to send a message to the markets, the American people, uh, that they, they made promises to the American people that put them in office, come together, even if there's some philosophical differences. Uh, and I, then I think that'll be very positive for tax reform and the further legs of the stool for the president's agenda. All you're, contingent you're, you're, on you're, his ability to be believed saying, by those lawmakers. The credibility issue matters, I Anthony. That's why I'm asking you about I it. I understand that. I think the president's very credible. Um, I put a lot of trust in him. Uh, I think the Twitter stuff is probably not for you or for me. He's coming up over the top of the mainstream media and the people that live in these coastal cities to deliver information to the people that have voted for him. But, it's, but what about when it's misinformation you're, you're, you're missing, and disinformation? You're, you're missing one piece of the story, which we have to tell the American people. One of these warrants was ac accepted, okay? And so I don't know if phone numbers were listened to or emails were there looked at. There was no warrant that was accepted no, the, or issued on any Trump personnel. None. There was, okay, but there was a FISA warrant. I don't have it in front of me. Yeah, but uh, there was I know. one in June that right, was rejected, yeah, and there was one the in October on that was accepted. But it wasn't on any Trump okay. personnel. It wasn't on Trump Tower. Let, now you that, guys are saying, wait a minute. Let's let the, Flynn got picked up on this. Flynn got picked up on surveillance. He wasn't wiretapped. Okay. It was the okay, Russian let, ambassador that was being monitored. Let, he got swept on. on. Okay. He wasn't in Trump okay, Tower. Chris, he was on vacation. The facts, Anthony. The Chris, facts. I'm staying with the facts. Let's a little bit more time. If why? I'm, why more time? Why more why? time? Because what we have found. I just all this in five used, minutes. Used an example when I was on the show a couple of weeks ago. But it's a totally Let's, different example. It is, but more facts came out, and Which I was did at, not at resurrect one, the mistake one, that you guys made initially. There. One. You're just picking it up. Level, in terms of time. One level of vindication there. Okay. Now let a little time pass. Why? Let's though? get the health care. Because Why? I Why does he deserve time be, about something that I is think provably there's false? Be, I think there's going to be more relevant information. If I'm wrong, I'll come back on the show. You can have one of those little dunking things. You, know, you can throw a thing oh, at I, me. You can dip me in the water. There's no reason to do that because it's not about disrespecting gonna, you. It's about respecting the truth. I don't think I'm going to be wrong, though. Okay. How can you be right you're, is what I don't you're understand. You're in the search for the truth. I'm in the search for the truth. But you know what the American people really want? Of course, they want the truth, but they also want progress. Okay, we've got a slow-growing economy. We have uncertainty about the health care legislation. We have uncertainty about jobs. We True. both know. You talk about the people you and I grew up with out on Long Island. Middle class wages are down 9.4 percent. People want last, better. Uh, over the last 10 years. But, but I don't he's know how they're getting the, it with this kind of he's stuff. He's got the capability and the skill set and the team around him to make it better for those people. If he gets out of his own way with these tweets. Let me ask you about something else. Another man uh, that we both know. Paul Manafort. Mm -hmm. Spicer. I don't know where his head was when yeah. he tried to explain away who mm -hmm. Paul Manafort is. We both know that man was brought in to save that campaign, and yeah. you could argue he did just that through the convention. He was the chairman. He was real. Well, I, he I was like, central. Okay, I like Paul a great deal, but let me defend Sean for a second. Please. I think, I think what ends up happening is you're out there as the front person for the president. You're his verbal Secret Service agent at the end of the yeah. day. And so I think what's happening there is Sean probably doesn't know what the investigation is going to lead to, and he wants to protect the president. And so when he used the word limited, he was basically just trying to say, listen, we're, I'm trying to shield the president from whatever could have happened if it was nefarious. Now, I believe nothing happened that was nefarious. That's just my opinion. I know Paul a long time. Uh, I have a lot of respect for him. I worked very closely with him. I don't think we can describe Paul's role as limited. And I the think AP that was reports this morning. What do you what do you make of those? Look, Spicer yeah. was wrong in how he described him. It was a yeah. BS but description. His reasons are his own. I but what do you that, make of the AP why Sean report did it that way. about his contract for about ten million dollars or so? Yeah, well, I think, uh, I think Paul with this man Deriposka. Okay, so I know I Russian know, aluminum magnate. All right, so I know AP o report. Okay, so I know, I know Oleg personally. Um, and I take Paul at his word that he was working on business interests for Oleg, and it wasn't tied to the Russian government. Now, here's what happens in the media, and here's what happens in politics. We like throwing water balloons and eggs and tomatoes at each other, and we like ra raising these things. As an example, 
I ran into the Sovereign Wealth Fund uh, head in Davos, Switzerland, at a restaurant, said hello to him. Some reporter reported that, and now Elizabeth Warren asked for an investigation of me. I have no ties to Russia. I had no Russian money in Skybridge Capital's funds. Last time I was in Russia was on a field trip uh, from the London School of Economics in March of 1985. So we do a lot of ridiculous things. But that's you. Can, you didn't have a contract for $10 finish. million a year. I, I got that, but I don't think it was related to... Russian politics or the Kremlin, I think it was related to Oleg's business, and I take Paul at his word on that uh, because I like Paul, and I know you like Paul, and I think Paul is a very decent guy with high integrity, and so let's see what happens here. Uh, and I love working for him on the campaign. I was in constant contact with him. He's a very smart guy. He has great judgment. Uh, I think the president respects him. Uh, and did he have those contacts 10 years ago, a decade ago? He did. Um, are they affiliated with the political system inside the Kremlin. I believe that they're not, but I honestly don't know the answer because I wasn't there with them. Mm. Anthony Scaramucci, right, appreciate great, you working through great, these issues with great, us. Great seeing you. You're always Are we going to have here. a push-up contest on this show at some you know, point, you and me? I'm, I'm just whatever looking, you I think, want. You could only get better you look like you're you in good, with this. Give it more time. You look like time. you're in good shape, but I think I could take you on the push-up contest. It's all stress. Good to okay. have you here.